Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and all the news in details. The presidency has accused the indigenous people Biafra Hypo of inciting Nigerians' allies against them. In view of this, the successionist group has finally made public the documents they actually sent to the U.S. Department that is making the presidency confused and having headache. They revealed that their document was duped. Nigeria, a history of serial genocide and the urgent need for U.S. intervention. The document was presented by the leader of the group in Amdekanu. As shall be demonstrated, this Islamization is by both states and by non-state actors that enjoyed the patronage and tacit support of the state. It is such that may lead to another genocide that will offend the conscience of the nations, including particularly the United States, which possesses the singular capacity to intervene with lasting solutions. The Hausa Fulani are predominantly Muslims. The Hausa Fulani are predominantly Muslims and live in the northern part of Nigeria. The Yoruba who live in the southwest are split almost evenly between Muslims and Christians. Yoruba Muslims profess a moderate form of Islam as opposed to the more fundamentalist Sunni practice observed in northern Nigeria and from which the Boko Haram and Fulani Etman Islamic terrorists emanated. There is a small Shia minority among the majority Sunni Muslims that are ruling Nigeria. The Biafrans, the counterpiece of this submission, inhabit the southern eastern part of Nigeria with a population of over 70 million. About 50 million of them, the Hebrews, speak the Hebrew language and are predominantly Christians. But with a rapidly growing Jewish minority, their land is blessed with human and mineral resources, including hydrocarbons. Biafrans are very commercially inclined, industrious, and are given to scholarly and professional pursuits. They had an established democratic institution even before colonization by the British. They are very republican and egalitarian in nature and coexisting peacefully with their neighbors prior to colonization and their amalgamation with the rest of Nigeria in 1914. A total of 3.1 million Igbo people were murdered between 20, 29th May 1966 and 12th January 1970. Had Biafrans not unilaterally declared its independence in order to protect itself, the massacre would have been incalculable, incalculated. Most Biafrans, especially the Hebrews, were slaughtered in their homes, offices, businesses, schools, college, hospitals, market, churches, shrines, farmland, factories, industrial enterprises, children's playground, town halls, refugee centers, cars, lorries, and at bus stations, railway stations, and airports. In the end, the genocide was enforced by Nigerians simultaneously pursued land, area, and naval blockade, and bombardment of Biafran land, Africans' highest population density region outside the Niger, the Niger Delta. In other words, even in their own heartland, where they had taken refuge, they were pursued and eventually subdued. The excuse then, as it were, was that Nigeria was prosecuting a war of reunification. On the contrary, there is quantum evidence that the war was provoked in order to accomplish the genocide that had begun against Biafrans. Generally, and, he and Igbos particularly, the difference this time was to take heat to their homeland where they had fled and taken refuge under the defunct Republic of Biafra. We are aware of the propaganda emanating from the Nigerian government and Northern Nigerian Islamic fundamentalists, aligned with the government that the new Biafran struggle for self-determination is an ethnic backlash against President Muhammad Buhari just because he is a Hausa Fulani Muslim. We state, we state unequivocally that this is false and petty 
The truth is that the post-war struggle peaked in mild 2015 when Mr. Buhari systematically embarked on his jihadist policies, coupled with his open toleration of Fulani ethnic terrorists that had simultaneously commenced an intense ethnic cleansing of Christians, including Biafrans. This was also immediately following a well-publicized comment by President Muhammad Buhari during his campaign, campaign for the presidency that an attack against Boko Haram is an attack against northern Nigerian Muslims. Lead to wonder, then, that Boko Haram terrorism has peaked to a new height since Buhari's presidency. In the face of Mr. Buhari's anti-Christian posturing and his complicit in actions to resign, to reign, to reign him on headsmen and Boko Haram terrorists, Biafrans responded by organizing themselves under a group named the Indigenous People of Biafra, Hypob, led by Maxine Namdekanu, a devout Jewish adherent of dual Nigerians and British citizens. Wow. So, my people, what is your own take about this? Definitely, all the things that uh, Namdekanu said is, is actually what is going on right now. Everything is correct. Because when you look at uh, when uh, President Muhammad Buhari started his own tenor, things were, from since then, everything started going wrong. And we realize that uh, it, it looks as if the power is being given to the people of the North, especially the headsmen and also the Boko Haram. Things started becoming worse. Though we cannot say that President Muhammad Buhari did not, did not do anything, definitely if you are in the post as the presidency, there will be something tangible that you will do. But when you look at this, the state at which things is going on and going wrong in the country, you can see that a lot is happening that people don't understand at all. You know, all these things that uh, uh, Inam Tikanu said is right about it. Is right about it. He has said it all. And that's the truth, whether we like it or not. And with the way things are going on, it shows that High Pope would definitely win the race. And it shows that Biafra will become a reality sooner rather than later. Because look at what is going on in our country. Obviously, Nigeria is doomed already. And with the look of things now, all the tribes, they are not united together. When you talk about the Yoruba people, talk about the Hebrews, talk about the Northerners, they are not united together. With the look of things, everybody from each tribe, they are ready to, to, to disintegrate. They are ready to divide. With the look of things, it shows that Nigeria will break into pieces very soon. But may God help us. May God help us. Because the thing is that the Islamic North will surely pay for everything, for everything that they did to the Hebrew people. They will definitely pay for it. Because it, the thing is that the Northerners, they have sold our land. They have sold our land. The thing and, and the, the issue is that when you see any single northerners, you can see a trait of domineering spirit in them. Whenever wherever they want to be, they will want to dominate. And that is what is affecting us in our country, Nigeria. But may God help us with these people. It is only God that can help us. So, guys, let's hear what people are saying about uh uh, the issue of this country, Nigeria, and also in Amdekanu, you know, people were saying that, um, they said when a nation refused to be feared to her component unit that made up the nation, that it has planted the seed of disintegration. Equality is fairness to her. Nigerian government gets worse every day. Nigerian government gets worse every day. 
They said, whether you like it or not, Zugeria will never be good in this generation and in the future generation. The Zugeria, which is Nigeria, has gotten rotten in a way that things will never come back to normal again. The constitution of the evil Zugeria is a fraudulent document. The judiciary system is completely dead. The lawmakers are scammers. The politicians are killers of justice and life. The leaders worship evil. Biafran is the only hope now and the future generation. United States should please pay attention to this clarion call by our Freedom Biafran Republic fighter and see to it that through its help as world powers as well as countries like United Kingdom, Israel, Russia, Korea, Germany, and other world powers nations, Biafrans are given independence from Nigeria before the end of 2020. When Buhari said an injustice to Boko Haram is injustice to the North, Jonathan did nothing. High Pope is proscribed a terrorist group, but Fulani headsmen are free to continue to continue to massacre the non-Muslim farmers, displacing them from their own land. Today, Boko Haram is more powerful than the military. Shadia militaries can take to them with his, but Nigerian compromised military, military. They find it difficult to crush insurg insurgency. How can they how can the Un Aousa Fulani claim one Nigeria? One, the constitution of Nigeria is subverted. The federal character stipulates that appointment him to the, to the federal service should be based on equal representation. Today, the Fulani people hold all the best appointments in Nigeria. Of course, that is what is going on right now. How can we progress? It is not possible for us to progress. I am not an Igbo man, I am not an Igbo lady, but I see the truth in this agitation. Nigerian today under Buhari is a big scam. Recently the Minister of Justice was shielding criminals who were involved in the killings of innocent men from persecution. Very soon Nemesis will catch up with the evil men in the country Nigeria. May God help us. Things are really, really going on in Nigeria. But Inam Dekano has said it all. What do you think? What is your own take? Your comment is highly appreciated. And kindly drop your comment at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we're going to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We'll say God bless you. If you're here to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the like button and the uh, notification button so that whenever we upload news you will be the first person to watch our latest news god bless you always stay safe bye